And welcome into the special playoff preview edition of Coach's Corner. I'm Brian Montgomery, and joining me today, as always, is the head coach of the Allegheny Women's Basketball Program, Kay Costanzo. Coach, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And on Tuesday, the team picked up a big 67-64 win over Ohio Wesleyan in the quarterfinals. Uh, really a game that came down to the last second. Rachel Velotti with a swipe and score that uh, put the Gators ahead for good. Kind of take us through that whole game, uh, kind of what the good parts and the bad parts mm -hmm. were, and especially that play made by the freshman late. We, we came out hot on offense early so that was that was good you know we came right out of the gates firing and had a lot of easy scoring opportunities that are that got our confidence going Jess Marjanovic was a huge spark off the bench for us during the first half and hit some big shots some big three-pointers especially uh, we did a great job rebounding it was a hard-fought game both teams played really well and it came down to that last steal by Rachel and, and the breakaway layup that kind of sealed the deal for us and then looking specifically at uh, parts of the team, the freshman contingent has really been a major difference maker this year. You have Jess Marjanovic, as you mentioned, hit the most three-pointers since for about five years for the Gators. Rachel Velotti with the game-winning basket, and then Emma Pelicano with 10 rebounds. Kind of talk about their development this year uh, as, as a freshman unit and how you've really kind of graded the way that they've progressed throughout the year. They have progressed. They've gotten more confident as the season has gone on, um, you know, and that's an obvious thing when it comes to first-year players. They, they're confident. They all come from, from very strong high school programs. So they've been doing a really great job, and it, it's good to see them you know, find the success late in the season. And we knew that as they got more confident you know, late in the season that we would be, would be deep and we would be experienced and, you know, and clicking on all cylinders. And then looking at the seniors that are on this team, uh, Daryl Ford, the newest member of the Thousand Point Club, and Ryan is just on a tear right now, averaging almost 10 points a game, mm -hmm. shooting 64, 65% from the floor during those last three games. Mm -hmm. Kind of talk about their leadership and how right now in the postseason it's really helping push the team forward. Ann's been playing with a sense of urgency, and, it, and it's clear. You know, she's really focused, and you know, she's getting really excited for each game and the opportunities to you know, defend the other team's best post players. And she's been doing a great job on the boards for us, and she's been scoring, scoring around the rim. So you know, she's playing like a senior who doesn't want it to end, which is, which is exactly what you want to be happening. And then Daryl's been doing the same thing. She had a big, big game last night with a double-double. Uh, you know, we, we got her the ball around the rim, which was helpful, and she you know, we got out of the way and gave her lanes to the hoop to drive, and she cleaned up the offensive boards, and I thought those two really led the way for us last night. So this weekend, the team travels to Indiana for the semifinals. You look across the court, and you'll see a familiar face in Kenny, the team that you played last week, and it seemed that you split the season series with winning a great game here at the David V. Wise Center, and then uh, falling to them on the road this past Saturday. Kind of uh, look at that last Saturday game. What was the difference between when you played them at home, when you played them at their place, and how do you hope to use that on Friday? I thought we did a very good job defensively and we did a good job on the boards and we were able to keep them off the offensive glass and that's what really hurt us out there last weekend is that we, we were not boxing out well. Um, we weren't letting our defense lead into easy offense for us and we struggled offensively from the floor. So it's my hope that after a game like last night when we, you know, we're doing a, a good job offensively that that's going to lead us into Friday night. And then looking at the scores on the Kenyan team, uh, Kayla Ernst, Maureen Hurt, a lot of really solid just players that can go to the basket or mm -hmm. find that outside shot and score. Mm -hmm. You really limited them in that game at home. Velotti was mm -hmm. on her 24-7, really held her to half of her season total. Uh, in that regard, kind of defensively, what's, what's the game plan? How do you hope to kind of isolate those two players and kind of keep them off of the scoreboard? Yeah, we need to, we need to keep Kayla off the boards. I mean, she's a great great post player, you know, one of the best in the conference, and, and she scores 20 points a game. We need, to, we need to hope to contain her below 20, between 15 and 20. She's going to get her points. She's, she's that talented. Um, you know, if we can limit her touches and keep her away from the rim, and then Maureen Hurt, like you said, I've, I've never seen a shooter like her, and she just, you know, you got to be on her. you got to give her good ball pressure and contest her shots and, you know, hope that she has a, a bad shooting night, but we just got to get through all the screens and, and contest shots and keep them off the boards. And then the other semifinal uh, is Wittenberg and DePaul, mm -hmm. you know, kind of uh, playing, you know, playing the role of what if, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, mm -hmm. For the Gators right now, they're on a, a great high streak. You know, they haven't really seen the losing side that much in the last couple of weeks, really playing some of the best basketball of the season. Mm -hmm. For this team to really just go forward and take the NCAC championship, mm -hmm. what has to happen? 
we really need to take care of the ball on offense. You know, we can't we can't have over 15 turnovers a game. We need to take care of the ball and, and value each possession. The other thing is we need to be confident in our offense. We need to have have those players come off the bench um, and and stick the open shots and crash the boards. And then defensively, I think we need to keep doing what we're doing. We we do a pretty good job defensively. Aside from there are some games where we have you know issues with with boxing out and rebounding, and that's going to need to be our focus: taking care of the ball and rebounding these next these next couple games. All right, well, Coach, thank you so much for joining us today, and best of luck to you this weekend. Thank you. Gator fans, be sure to tune in to the live stream of Allegheny semifinal against Kenyon. DePaul will be hosting the North Coast Athletic Conference semifinals and championship game. We'll be live casting all of the games, so you can check the links on our website, AlleghenyGators.com, and be sure to check out when those games will be shown and also see who will face off in the NCAC championship game. And as always, be sure to keep it locked in to AlleghenyGators.com for all of your up-to-date Gators info.